guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my wonderful subscribers and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to click the subscribe button below and also click on that bell icon it will definitely notify you whenever I upload a new and interesting video in today's video I am going to be cooking Nigerian Okazi soup so these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using but don't worry I'm gonna guide you and show you and tell you their names when I start cooking so now I am going to soak my uh, dry um, fish which is my stock fish I am going to soak it first with hot, hot water just to get it to be a little bit of soft and also to wash out all the dirt because sometimes there can be a little ant in them so I like to wash them thoroughly with hot water before putting them in the soup. So now this is my meat stock in the pot and I am going to be adding my achi and um, you can use ede as your thickener but I'm using achi so that is my achi but what I did is that I mix it with cold water and I mix it properly and it became um, solid like that so I then added it inside the uh, pot so I'm going to leave this achi to cook to boil properly first now the achi is boiling so the next thing I'm going to be adding inside the pot is going to be my red oil. So I'm now adding the red oil inside the pot now. So I'm going to cover this and leave it to boil for at least 10 minutes. Let the red oil cook properly first because if it doesn't cook very well it has an aftertaste. So I'm leaving that to cook properly. So I have opened the pot now to turn it just to check on my achi and see if it's melting and also uh, thickening the soup as well. So now I am adding the meat and the dry fish together in the pot and I'm going to cover it again to also cook for about maybe 10 minutes as well. that has been boiling for another 10 minutes so now I am going to start adding all the other ingredients inside the pot so now I'm adding the crayfish I have ground the crayfish and then I'm adding it inside the pot And I'm adding the ground Nigerian dry pepper inside the soup. And I'm also adding the no cube inside the soup. And now I'm adding the ogili. This if you're from the Igbo side of the country, girl, if you don't add ogili to your any native soup, it doesn't bring out that Igbo native uh, aroma. So <laughs> I'm adding that ogili. You have to put it in, girl, to get that wonderful aroma in your native soup. So I'm just mixing everything together. to be adding the vegetable inside the soup and that is the okaze leaf so I have just added that and I'm turning the soup now just to mix everything around So 
I am going to cover it up and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes and your soup is ready guys this soup is ready and the ogili is giving it such a wonderful aroma and I understand there is so many ways to cook okaze soup but this is the way I grew up eating it this is the way I saw my grandmother and my mother cook it and you know girl I have to stick with the method I was taught by my mother so yeah that is the way I grew up um, eating the okaze soup but I understand that every every part of Igbo have their own method of cooking it thank you so much this is it the food is ready you can eat this soup with gari pounded yam oat fufu anything anything at all apple you can eat it and it just goes down well thank you so much for stopping by to my channel please do not forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on my next one bye